to my channel. This is going to be my first Valentine's makeup look for 2019. I'm so excited to show you guys this makeup look because I really just wanted to test out my skills and just do something really different and outside my comfort zone for you guys. It's not like the easiest makeup look, but guys, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not a professional. I just like playing with makeup. And so I sat down and just did something different. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. I will tell you that I did go into the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette for this look. Matt actually bought this for me for Christmas and I have not used it yet. I'm going to use that for Valentine's Day. I have to wait to use it for Valentine's Day because look at this palette. It's full of pinks and red. This just screams Valentine's Day to me. So I waited and I used it today for you guys. I also went into a new foundation. It is the new Hourglass Vanish Liquid Foundation. I'm so excited that they finally came out with a liquid foundation. I was just totally not into that stick foundation, but if you know me, I'm all about that liquid foundation. Stick foundations just don't impress me. And for only getting like that much product for like $50, I'm not interested. So I thought this was a way better deal even though it's hella expensive still. I think this is way more worth the money than the stick foundation but again I have never tried the stick foundation so maybe it's not. I don't know but I'm super excited to try this out for you guys for the first time ever today. So yes this is more of an expensive makeup look. But next Wednesday, I will be doing a more affordable Valentine's makeup look for you guys. So make sure to stay tuned then. But if you want to see how you get this makeup look, then of course, just keep watching. All right, so I wanted to experiment. So I already did this eye. So now I'm going to do this eye with you guys. The palette I'm going to go into, which I probably already said in the intro, is the Naked Cherry Palette. This is the first time I'm ever using this palette, so I'm really excited to get into it with you guys. The first shade I'm going to use here is Juicy, and I'm going to be using that for my transition shade. Alright, so the next shade I'm going to go into is Devilish. It's right here. And I'm going to go kind of into a bigger pencil brush. And I'm putting this just right into the crease. And I'm building it up a lot because I really want this shade to show. Obviously from this side, it's kind of like a cut crease. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go back into Juicy right here and just blending out those edges slightly. Now for the cut crease part, I'm gonna be using my Holy Grail ColourPop No Filter Concealer and my concealer brush from Alamar Cosmetics, I believe it's called. Yeah, this is like my favorite concealer brush. So I'm gonna be doing that cut crease here. And at the end, you just flick it out, like right at the end of your eyebrow. All right, then I'm gonna take kind of a fluffy, dense brush. This is actually what I use to set my eyeshadow primer, but I'm gonna go into the shade Hot Spot because it's a matte nude. And I'm just gonna use that to set down the concealer. All right, now that that's done, you're gonna take a flat shader brush and you're gonna spritz it with MAC Fix Plus, water, eye drops, whatever to get your brush wet. And then go into the shade Bang Bang right here. And I'm just using the very tip of my brush and putting it in the shadow. And then you're gonna do a liner along your lash line with that shade. Keep it nice and tight to your lashes. And you're not gonna wing this one out.
Then you can spray your brush again and kind of just pat it off so it's not like soaked. But then go into the shade Devilish. That's the first shade that we put in the cut crease. But making this brush a little bit wet and then going into that shade makes it that purple color. And then you're going to start about halfway and then wing it up. And don't worry about messing up. That's why you can go back into concealer. All right, and then I went back into Bang Bang. I didn't re-wet my brush, but I'm just putting that right in the middle on top of the purple so they blend together a little bit more. All right, and that is the eye look. Now to get into the face. All right, so actually, I do not need a primer today because the foundation that I'm going to go into that doesn't need a primer is the new Hourglass Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. I got this almost as soon as it came out. I was so excited that they finally came out with a liquid foundation because, honey, I was just not into that stick foundation. I was not going to pay that much for that little product. It's just totally insane to me. I get so much more use out of liquid foundation. So I'm so excited to try this out for you guys today. And I got mine in the shade Ivory. So I'm like crossing my fingers that this is a good match. This one matched what I think my skin tone is on the website or Sephora.com. This says it only needs like half a pump for your whole face and does not need a primer. So I'm going to take my Morphe sponge and put... Half a pump. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. I will be impressed if half a pump really gives me a good coverage for my whole face because my Urban K is also very, very full coverage, but that takes a pump. It is a pretty good match for me. I have to go tanning again. I'm losing my tan already. I'm actually surprised that Ivory is even this dark. Is it just me or is companies making the shade Ivory like darker and darker? Now I have been doing so many first impressions and reviews over foundations lately. I didn't really want to do either one of those. I just wanted to use it for today's video whether I liked it or not. That gave me an okay coverage. I really think I need to use one more half pump. But half a pump did give me a very light coverage, but I want to go full coverage. But I was just really excited to use this foundation for you guys because it's just such a hype right now. I would have to say that a full pump is all you need. Like this is amazing coverage. I really like it. It's not really a dewy finish or a matte finish it's kind of just a natural finish so I really think that either you have dry skin or oily skin you'd be able to wear this now I don't know how it wears throughout the day but so far the coverage is really amazing and I like the finish so that's a good sign right and I'm really glad that they make it so you only have to use about a pump because this is not even a full ounce is 0.84 fluid ounces so the less product the better that way you get your money's worth but now on to concealer I'm just gonna use my color pop one Okay, now to set my under eyes right away, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade here in Lucid. I talked about this in my January favorites. I just absolutely love it. And it's so good to set my under eyes. It just makes it so brightening. Now I'm not sure what powder would be best to set with this foundation. But I'm going to try the Airspun Loose Face Powder just because... 
I feel like this one doesn't alter my foundation, so it'd be a good way to test it out. And a wet sponge and loose powder just really locks in your makeup. All right, to contour, I'm gonna go back into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm gonna take this shade called Sombre. I'm just gonna chisel out my cheeks and my forehead and my nose with this. Alright, now for my blush, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. Alright, I did just buy a new highlighting palette. It's the Makeup Revolution by Soph. I'm not exactly sure. I think she's a YouTuber, but she did create this with Makeup Forever. So I'm going to go into this shade right here and just put that at the top of my cheekbones. Guys, this palette is insane it is so pigmented and metallic and wet looking now to finish my eyes i'm going to go back into the naked cherry palette and i'm going to take the shade devilish on a flat shader brush again and just smoke that along my lower lash line Now I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go into the shade Juicy and kind of just blend that out a little bit. Alright guys, so I just did a few things off camera. I did go back into the Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow palette and I went into the shade Turn On for my inner corner highlight. And then for mascara, I put this Tarte one on my top lashes, the Tarte Tartiest Lash Paint Mascara, and then for my bottom lashes, I went into the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Burgundy. I thought that would be so pretty to put this on my lower lash line. And then for lip product, I went into the I Love Sahari in ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Sueno de Coco. I don't know how to speak Spanish. I will list it down below for you guys, obviously, but that is my face. I think it seriously turned out so stunning. I'm so impressed with myself. I hope you guys really enjoy it too. I know this wasn't really a affordable makeup look because I did use a naked palette and the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, but come back next Wednesday. I will be doing another Valentine's makeup look for you guys that is a lot more affordable. But I really just wanted to test out my skills and try something new. So I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!